Cambodia's opposition party has rejected Prime Minister Hun Sen's claim of victory in Sunday's elections. The National Rescue Party is alleging widespread irregularities. Hun Sen has been in power since 1985. Long-serving Prime Minister Hun Sen claimed victory for his Cambodian People's Party, which will give him five more years in office. He has already served 28 years. The government says the CPP won 68 parliamentary seats. That's a 22-seat loss from the last election. One factor for that might be the opposition parties have now merged. Earlier in the day, the opposition had claimed victory, but later said any announcement of results was premature. We have just indications, very fragmented information. We are not in the position yet to draw any conclusion. Opposition parties formed a coalition before the election. Under the banner of the Cambodian National Rescue Party, they're set to make significant gains and pile pressure on Prime Minister Hun Sen, who's been in power for 28 years. Official results aren't expected until next month. The Cambodia National Rescue Party is the largest among the opposition. It's expected to make remarkable gains, but they have accused the ruling party of committing irregularities during the campaign. The capital Phnom Penh is on high alert for protests by supporters of the opposition parties. Military and police have blocked streets near the Prime Minister's residence. The National Election Committee says it could take weeks to compile the official results. Yeah, well, we were very uh, much expecting this announcement because of all the irregularities during the campaign period, the month-long cam campaign period, and the, the calls from international organizations that the, this control that the ruling party has over all the institutions and the government here, that there, were a lot of, uh, con there was a lot of concern going in the campaign period and then also when it comes to voter registration lists. So regardless of the outcome, we were anticipating that there would be a call from the opposition saying that they, they, don't, they reject the, the polling numbers, and that is exactly what has happened today. But one thing that really needs to be known, it is definitely a victory for, for the ruling party, but they lost a fair amount of seats. They lost over 20 seats. They had 90, and now they have uh, around 60, uh, high 60s. Um, what we really should focus on, too, and when we talk about this, is that the opposition gained quite a bit of seats. They almost doubled their number. They had 29 seats in Parliament going into this election. Now they have, they, they gained 26. So that really needs to be focused on.